Cold shivers went down the spine of the Nigerian tech community when news of the death of 33-year-old Fahim Saleh broke, with many wondering what could have led to him being killed in a mafia-like manner. This video is the last scene of Sally, a Bangladeshi American techpreneur who was the mastermind behind the bike hailing app Gokada. We provided drivers with these high end bikes that were 200 cc's and we maintained the bikes because the bike that is not well maintained could and is more likely to get in an accident. In mourning his demise, a statement by the company described him as a great leader, inspiration, and positive light for all. For some members of the Nigerian tech community, he was an astute businessman, down to earth and open, who touched the lives of many. Fahim is a, he's a great young man. He's a wonderful intellect. He's, he's calm and, and humble. He was talking about um, creating an app for, uh, that will control traffic in Lagos. We met uh, for business at the time we wanted to launch G-Boat. Um, G-Boat is a water transportation service um, that was between Lagos Boats and Gokada. And um, beyond G-Boat and the life of G-Boat, we ran G-Boat for a few months and uh, we had learned through the process of G-Boat and in the process of redesigning how that service was going to be delivered in the future. Um, but that, that relationship went beyond went beyond G-Boat and uh, you know, it, was, it was one where we would, we would meet sometimes to talk about other things. A former employee who worked hand in hand with him says Fahim might no longer be here, but his legacy will live as he ran the business more like a family. I think he has put together a structure, you know, a setting, you know, a communal, you know, a sense of belonging, it's a, you know, um, in, in, in every one of us that, you know, we are moved from, you know, just a team to like a family. The tech community has lost like a major, you know, a germ. Um, he's, he's a great guy. His impact will be felt. He will continue to live on. His legacy lives on. Sally began his tech career by founding a startup while in university, Prank Dial, before setting up Patao in Bangladesh, then Gokada in Nigeria, which raised $5.2 million just before the Lagos State government banned motorbikes on highways. He's an inspiration. He's a fantastic guy. It was fun. Hopefully, the person and motive behind this brutal killing will be unraveled soon and brought to justice. Victor Mathias, Channels Television News. Thank <music> you.